Python Tutorial Multicollinearity Test Multiple regression assumptions consist of independent variables correct specification, independent variables no linear dependence, regression correct functional form, residuals no autocorrelation, residuals homocysticity, and residuals normality. This topic is part of multiple regression analysis with Python curves. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. No linear dependence or no multicollinearity consists of regression independent variables not being highly correlated. This is evaluated through multicollinearity tests, which consists of calculating an inverted correlation matrix of independent variables and assessing its main diagonal values. If main diagonal values are greater than 5 but less than 10, independent variables might be highly correlated. If main diagonal values are greater than 10, independent variables are highly correlated. Great, so let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study no linear dependence through multicollinearity test with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within Python PyCharm IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial multicollinearity test code file. So the first step within this tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import NumPy SMP, Pandas SPD, and matplotlib.py plot as PLT. The next step is to create the data for this multicollinearity test. So we have this data variable equals to PD or Pandas dot read underscore CSV, and within it we have the path to the data file. So we have it, as we can see here, within data directory and the name of the data file, multicollinearity test data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separate values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and open this data file. As we can see, we have a plain text file with .csv or comma separate values. So the first column corresponds to dates. Notice that these dates have a monthly frequency and they are from the beginning of 1997 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. And then we have the following columns with the variables for our multiple regression. First of this corresponds to stocks, that's the dependent or explained variable, and this corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard Poor's 500 index, and this corresponds to its adjusted close prices, monthly arithmetic returns, adjusted close prices because they were adjusted for dividends and splits. And then we have all the independent or explanatory variables, so we begin, first of all, with effective monthly yield of one-year treasuries, 10-year treasuries, and the high-yield corporate bonds. And then we have the monthly arithmetic inflation or deflation of CPI, consumer price index, PPI, producer price index, the monthly arithmetic returns of oil prices, and the monthly arithmetic change of industrial production index and PCE or personal consumption index, personal consumption expenditures amount. So going back into the code file, after we've read the data, then we can perform the multicollinearity test. As mentioned, this is done to evaluate those independent or explanatory variables. So right here, we first create this variable name here, I bar for independent variable, and in, from data, we're going to select here with double brackets only the columns where we have those independent or explanatory variables. That's why we begin at one year treasuries all the way into PC or personal consumption expenditures. And the following step is to visualize this within a chart. So notice here that we do so with fig equals to plt, that's matplotlib, that figure. And here, what we're going to do is with ax or axis equals to fig.add underscore subplot with its corresponding dimensions, 1, 1, 1. And then we are going to calculate with cax equals to ax or axis equals to mat show, and that's where we are going to visualize that inverted correlation matrix. 
And we do the calculation of the Imber correlation matrix, as we can see here with NP or NumPy dot L I N A L G dot Imb for Imbers and within it those independent variables correlation with dot C O R R, which calculates their correlation matrix. So here we're going to visualize the Imber correlation matrix. And with C map equals to blues, so we're going to visualize the values as shades of blues. So here we have fig dot color bar with C A X. And what we're going to do next is for the axis with dot set underscore X and Y tick labels, we're going to add the labels of those independent or explanatory variables here first with brackets with blank space plus the names of those independent or explanatory variables from one year treasuries all the way into PC or personal consumption inspectors and the title of this chart which is going to be with set underscore title invert correlation matrix and we show the chart. So let's go ahead and run this code file when we're doing it for the first time at of this code we click the right bottom on the mouse and scroll down into run the code file name but as I've run the code file previously the names already stored right here with Python tutorial multicollinearity test and I just click run excellent so that opens the running console we'll briefly visualize the chart and here we have the inverted correlation matrix as mentioned here, we have the principal or main diagonal. As we can see, it's with one year treasuries, one year treasuries, then 10 year treasuries with 10 year treasuries right here, all the way into PC with PC or personal consumption painters with personal consumption painters. So this is the principal or main diagonal. And then we have right here, the upper triangle, which is mirrored by the lower triangle. So something very important regarding this chart here with matplotlib is focus right here into the bottom left hand corner and you'll see the values for the calculation of those squares when you put the mouse cursor on top. So by putting the mouse cursor and focusing on that bottom left hand corner, we see the values for that square. So as we can see here, we have the value for the first element within that main or principal diagonal the second value for that main or principal diagonal all the way into the last value for that main or principal diagonal. And as mentioned within this inverse correlation matrix, the upper triangle has been mirrored by the lower one. So the value we have here, which is one year treasuries with 10 year treasuries within that square and all, always focusing on the left hand corner is the same value as the one here with 10 year treasuries and one year treasuries right here. That's why this lower triangle mirrors the upper one. For the multicollinearity test, we need to focus on the values of this principal or main diagonal right here. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying multicollinearity test, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finished this tutorial. Thank you for watching.